we got a Holden Astra. This is the third car that I've seen the same exact issue in this month alone. This is a 2018, 2017, there's one out there. Um, got the same exact issue. Now, the problem with the car is a misfire. Kind of like a misfire when it's idling, you can see the whole engine is shaking. But if you rev it, all the misfire goes away. So, usually what that means is, most of the time it's a mechanical issue. And they are very common, pretty much I've seen three times, so I'm pretty sure it's a very common issue. Um, now if you put a scan tool, this is what you'll see. On the scan tool you'll see on the engine, engine misfire detected. P0300, on the ABS, the traction control light, engine light, everything is on on the dash. So electronic control module, invalid data received from the ECM. Don't worry about that, it's just because you got an ECU fault and uh, that's why it's seeing that fault on the ABS as well but mainly the engine misfire detected that's the fault code you see all the lights on the dashboard is on engine light traction control light all that if you look at the engine engine is shaking you can feel the misfire in the car as soon as you start the car right now one way to quickly verify if it's a kind of compression issue or not uh, you can always do this I'll just put it here. so what you can do is Turn the key on, on a GM and a lot of Ford vehicle. Turn the key on, put your foot on the accelerator all the way down. Now you will disable the injectors. Now you can crank it and you can hear the engine noise. You can hear that inconsistency. See that? That engine is not good. That engine has got inconsistent noise to it. What that means is the engine has a mechanical issue. Now. We can show a uh, lot of things we can do here to figure out what's going on and all that but quick, I've seen it many times so I'm just going to make a very quick video. All I'm doing is a compression test. So put my positive on the battery, uh, lead there, negative on the uh, ground terminal. Now we come here, a quick compression test, right? Go compression, this is a four cylinder, now start. Now I'm going to go and crank the engine, same thing, put your foot on the accelerator. You will disable engine from running. Okay. do that you can see that one cylinder is at 1% only three cylinders are working so this one cylinder has lost its compression now we can go ahead and do uh, other testing like sinking and pressure testing and all that and figure out exactly where the compression is going uh, exactly which cylinder is at uh, fault but I've seen it so many times I'll tell you exactly what the fault is if you come around here I'll go and start the car quickly I've seen there's a issue with the compression ring or the piston i don't know i haven't pulled it apart at one of the engine on this one this is a 1.6 liter by the way uh turbo uh i think something wrong in the in the cylinder or piston area there's compression ring so mainly i've seen the pressure compression loss from uh, with the with the with that area so a lot of blow lights so all you do is look at that and you can see all the compressions coming out of the dipstick if you see that the engine is bad Go see Holden. I've heard that they do have some kind of warranty things going on with this. This car has like 70,000 kilometers. The other car sitting the exact same problem has 56 kilometers, 1,000 kilometers. Now I've seen other ones. So less than 100,000 kilometers, they're having this kind of issue. So if you see a Astra shaking like that when it's idling and when you rev it, the misfire disappears. That is your problem, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.